In this video, we're going to build this. An absolutely awesome little beach house in Minecraft right by the beach. It looks aesthetically amazing. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other content and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So this is part of my new build series on Minecraft called 15 Minute Builds. I'm going to show you how to build an awesome little structure within 15 minutes or less. This isn't too demanding on resources. Great little starter base. Loads of perks to having a base like this, especially if it's right by the beach and the sand. It looks absolutely awesome. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to build it in 15 minutes or less. Let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes as well, guys. I'd be super appreciated if you could do that. That'd be amazing. So these are the materials that we're going to use. The main materials to build this structure. Again, not too demanding on resources at all. So the foundation is 8 blocks wide and 8 blocks long. And we're going to be going up 9 blocks in total. With the corner foundations being stone. And the walls are going to be quartz. Smooth quartz stone. So what we're doing is we're going to build all the way up. Fill it up to 9 blocks high. And that will give us pretty much like a small enough base with enough like room inside to have like open plan live in you got your bedroom and you got like a little living room obviously if you want to build this for like a survival style house you're gonna change the inside this is just like aesthetic inside the stuff that i've built obviously you're gonna want chests and like you know crafting tables and enchanting books and all that kind of stuff so you do your own design inside but i'll show you how to make something look aesthetic so right we're nine blocks high let's put some torches in we don't want any nasties hiding in here as we're building the ceiling and we're going to change the floor now you'll notice i've left a stone there because we've got a little secret thing under this base i've dug out a hole that leads all the way down and all the way out to the ocean because we've got a little ocean observatory area which i'm going to show you further along in the video which is insane it looks really cool and yeah like it's just something extra for the base so to build the ceiling for the first floor, go five blocks high and just start putting the ceiling in. And this is going to separate the bedroom from the living area. And we're going to have a ladder to go up and down. I was originally going to put stairs, but the plan with this base was to keep it nice and small. I didn't want to make a base that was too big because 15 minute builds is going to all, you know, basically be all about making cool little structures in like minimal time. So I could have made this a bit bigger, but I didn't want to. So then you finish off the ceiling and again get the torches in there because there's nothing worse than building and then having a creeper jump in at the last second or a spider because they just make stupid noises and put you off when you're trying to build. And once you finish the ceiling, we're going to go on to the roof. The roof is used with stone stairs and stone slabs. Originally, I had it around two to three tiers high, but I found it, when you're building a beach house, if you have a roof that's too big, it just ruins the theme of it and the look of it. So basically I had one layer of stone stairs and then one layer of slabs and that was it. It wasn't too much and it just looked aesthetic and it just suits it better. You don't want like a massive roof. So there it is so far. We're getting there, getting some shape. Now we need to build some stairs leading into the house. So go five blocks high and then make a room for a door and then put that there. Make sure we can get in nice and lovely jubbly. Nice bit of room and then we'll go back outside and we'll start building the stairs up. Now. The way I based this house and the theme that I went off was like a proper typical, I want to say typical like American style beach house, but it's probably not actually that. But I wanted like the cool looking sort of, you know, beach house that you'd see in like a typical like American film. Something really aesthetic that looks really good. So we've got the stairs leading in now and on the other side we're going to do the balcony. But in order to finish this off, I wanted to make it look realistic as possible. So I put like a support pillar structure down. And that's it. That's the stairs leading inside. So the front door will be upstairs because you don't want it downstairs because you'd have to require then like a ladder or stairs leading upstairs. I thought going upstairs, going up to the first floor with stairs leading up, is it just looked better aesthetically. So that's why we're doing that. And then we're going to build the balcony that will wrap around the entire house. I only went two blocks wide with this. You don't want it too big. If, it, if it's too big, it doesn't look realistic. That's the goal with these builds i want it to look realistic and have that that look about it that it, it could be like an actual structure in real life you don't want something that's going to look like ridiculous so once you've got your balcony wrapped around we're going to put some jungle planks in this is going to separate it and give us that balcony effect and then we'll have a nice little balcony for your little guys to basically chill out in minecraft you know after a hard day's grinding hard day's mining killing creepers and all sorts you can just go chill out on the balcony enjoy the sun and also, again, when you build it like this and have the gap, you can see the white between the gap on the slabs. Again, just gives it that, that finishing touch, that perfection, which is what we like. It's what we're all about on this channel. And that finishes that. Look at that. 
Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But now we've got to make it look realistic. It can't just be hanging off the house, right? So, get yourself some jungle fence. And then we're going to put in some support pillars. Going for that realism, boys. Aesthetic and realistic. That is what this channel is all about with builds. Now, I do have some other builds in the way, like I said before. And when I mean that, I've got some big builds in the works. But I am going to start this series of 15-minute builds. There's going to be loads coming your way. So that's that finished. Right, now we're inside. We need to put some windows down. This is down to you. I'm going to let you DIY this yourself because I like big open windows, especially for like a house like this, like a beach house. You want open plan living, right? You want it to look as open and amazing as possible. The only issue I've got with the texture pack that I'm using is that these windows, as you can see, when you look at the ocean with the windows, it literally goes see-through. No idea why. Not sure why, but that's the issue with that. But if you come from the outside, look at that. Amazing. Looks absolutely amazing. Right, so now we're inside. We need to get to the bottom floor. And this is where that stone block is going to come in handy because we need to build down. So put some windows in and then we'll start making the ladder. Now here, you need to decide where you want to have your windows and where you want the door to be. So the front of the house, I'm just having open, open window, just massive open window. But to the right hand side or the left hand side either, um, the balcony side is where I'm going to actually have the, the door leading in. Because we are going to have a door that leads in so you can come in and out. But the whole stairs leading upstairs from the outside just gave it that extra, that extra like finishing touch. Like a real beach house. So here this is where I'm going to have the doors. But I kind of changed my mind midway through because I was going to have the door and no quartz stone in this area at all. But the glass doesn't sit well next to the door. So in order to, to achieve that, I had to put quartz stone next to the glass and then put the door one block over. It's, it just didn't look it didn't look good having the door there. So what I ended up doing is putting the quartz stone there and then just having the door in the corner. Just finished it off a lot better. So it's up to you if you want to have the glass there and the door right next to it. But I decided against it. It's probably best for you to, to decide against that as well. But there's the door. And there you go. Look at that. Finished. Looks absolutely amazing. Right, so now we need to get up and down, don't we? So we need to add the ladder. So we'll get rid of that. I've already dug out this hole. I can't tell you exactly how far I went down, but it was a good, say, 20 blocks down. Maybe less than that. It wasn't a great deal. But I basically dug all the way down and straight out to the ocean. And the observatory is something that you can swim in. So you're going to see that in a minute. So there you go. Let's put a torch down because we can't see anything at the moment. Don't want the monsters here another one down as well right let's get this ladder up let's complete it yeah it's not about 20 blocks is it it's more like 10 let's just say 10 so as we go down here i've already pre-built a mini foundation for the observatory so here it is it was roughly five blocks long and five blocks wide it wasn't massive and i used stone so all we're going to do is build the enclosure around it put a ceiling on and then put fence in between i believe i only went like three blocks high yeah three four blocks high not not too much you don't you don't want it too big it's purely just to go out and have a look and as you notice as you walk through the door that leads here the water stops so if you're running out of air again if you're playing on survival and you start running out of air you can actually just walk straight in get your air back and it's all good so now we're going to put the ceiling in i'm using slabs here so it makes the room again more open you don't want it too enclosed and too boxy and we'll put the fence down on all sides and done so if you're ever in the mood, you want to chill out, come down here, have a look at the ocean. Lovely jubbly, look at that. So, back up, we got to put some doors in now. I used oak doors for this because they look better with the packs that I'm using. God, that sunset is beautiful. Oh god, I nearly fell down. This house is slowly coming along. God, that sunset is amazing. I can't get how like over how good RTX looks. So, we're going to build a bedside table with a lamp. Done. In this room, I'm just putting your basic stuff down. So some bookshelves, some chests, just your basic stuff. So in the living room, I'm going to modify these fences to be, again, lights just to give it like a warm glow. And then we're going to put the sofa down. I didn't want to go too crazy in the living room because I can get a bit too carried away on this game. And it's not ideal when you're building a small house. I, I kind of get sidetracked and just go completely off the rail and start building all sorts of crazy stuff 
So this right here is going to give the living room like a nice warm... How has that landed up there? Go away. A nice warm glow. Put some slab down. There's the TV. Bang. There you go. Sorted. Now what we're going to do is do a bit of aesthetics, a bit of finishing touches, some plant pots and some flowers. And that will pretty much finish off the room. And there we go. Done. So we come back outside. The next step is we're going to have to finish the outside because it looks good, but it looks a bit bare, right? We need to we need to finish it. So take a bush of your choice and start putting bushes around. I know you don't get bushes as much on beaches, but you know, this is this is for the aesthetic look. It is going to make it look complete and amazing. And then I'm going to show you how to build some palm trees. Now, I'm not an expert in building palm trees, and I'm sure you guys could probably do a better job. But I'm going to show you, and it does look awesome. So there we go. Just having bushes literally completes the bottom of the house. It looks amazing. So to build palm trees, you need birch fence. So it's going to be the, the actual tree itself. You can put one at the top and it's complete. The problem I have with that is if you build them too high and just have one on top with jungle leaves, it doesn't look that good. You've got to have them too high with, if you just want one on top. So this one I'm going to build like a big one. It, it looks okay. It's nothing like amazing. So you can have them like this if you're good at building like trees. Like crack on. It's going to, you know, you'll probably do a better job. But there's one palm tree. That's a big one, right? That's just a quick basic big one. But this is one that I normally build. Two blocks high, jungle leaves, done. They look smart. Finishes off the house on the outside. Absolutely amazing. And that is literally it, guys. All you need to do now is put some deck chairs down. You can put some blast furnaces down to look like, like make a little barbecue area if you want. I didn't bother. I just literally finished off the outside with some lanterns. Put some lanterns around the doors as well. So at night time it gives it a nice warm glow. And obviously keeps those nasties away. But that is literally the build. It's really simple. Doesn't cost much on resources. Doesn't co like, take a lot of time at all. Absolute minimal effort. And it's just a great little starter house. If it's something that you're looking for to do or you want like a cool little idea that's a bit out there, go for it. Like this is what you want. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to build a hidden secret base in the mountain. And it's going to be a fallout bunker shelter. It's, it's pretty cool. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm proper excited. But you'll have to stay tuned for that. So like I said, check out my other content. Subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified of when I upload a new video. And if you've got any questions, leave me a comment, guys. I'm always happy to hear from you. Give the video a nice thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.